By default, time and status produces reports based on a 24-7 calendar. That means the durations shown in the report includes all times of the day. Weekdays or weekends, day or not, holiday or not, doesn't matter. All are included. Using the calendar panel, you can list the custom calendars defined on your system, see their details, and select one of them. Each custom calendar has its own working days, working hours, holidays, and time zone. For example, time and status comes with a default business calendar that includes working days as from Monday to Friday and working hours from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. By the way, you can see existing custom calendars here, but only your Jira admin can define new calendars for you through admin pages. As a solid example, consider an issue that was transitioned to in progress at 1 p.m. on a Friday and was resolved on 1 p.m. of the next Monday. For a 24-7 calendar, the issue will have spent 72 hours on in-progress status. For the default business calendar, however, the issue will have spent 9 hours in in-progress status because nights and weekends will be excluded. Your calendar definitions include holidays and each calendar has its own time zone so you can define multiple custom calendars if you have different teams working in different time zones. Day length is effective only when you are using a custom calendar and your view format includes days. So it has no effect if you are viewing your reports in hours, minutes or seconds. This option defines how long a day is in your report. Is it 24 hours? or is it as long as it is defined in your custom calendar? For example, once again consider the earlier issue that was transitioned to in progress at 1 p.m. on a Friday and was resolved on 1 p.m. of the next Monday. This issue spent 9 hours on in progress according to your custom calendar, but when viewing this report in days view format, if the day length is 9 hours, then the value is exactly one day. If the day length is 24 hours, it is around 0.38 days. Business day is the default option, but you might want to use either one of these options based on your use case.